this video, we're going to create an in-cell progress bar in Google Sheets that also includes a percentage of completion. So what you see here is the finished product of what we're actually going to build today. In column A, I have five branch locations. Column B, we have year-to-date sales figures for each of those branches. And then in column C, we have the annual sales goal for the branches. In column D, we have a progress bar that shows the percentage of completion. So on a new tab, we'll get started here. So we're going to begin with the repeat function, and that does exactly what you think it would. It repeats a value based on a number of times that you specify. So the first argument of the repeat function is the value that you want to be repeated. In this case, we're going to insert the character function. And the character function has just one input, and it's a table number that displays a particular text value. In this case, we want something that displays a vertical bar. So we're going to use character number 406 because that displays a vertical bar. So now we're back into our repeat function and we want to specify the number of times we want to repeat this vertical bar. For now, I'm just going to input a hard number of 7 just so you can see what this produces. So you can see we have our vertical bar 7 times easy enough. So now we want something more dynamic in the second argument rather than a hard number. So we want to get the percentage of year-to-date sales to the annual sales goal. So we're going to take cell B2 and divide it by C2. Now when I hit enter here this is going to produce nothing. The reason is the output of B2 divided by C2 is a percentage which is less than one so we're telling it to repeat a vertical bar less than one time which is zero rounded down. So what we need to do here is multiply this by a hundred to convert it to a whole number. So when I do that it produces way too many bars because we're, our percentage is about 72%, so this produces 72 bars. So to kind of scale it down a little bit and make it easier on the eyes, we want to divide this by a whole number, maybe like 4 or 5. We'll just go with 5. So you can see that looks pretty reasonable. And now what we want to do is add a percentage below this progress bar. So we're going to use the AND symbol to join this to another character function. This time we're going to use character number 10. And what this does is it simply adds a new line because we want the percentage to be below our progress bars. So this just simply adds a new line. Then we're going to add a, another AND symbol and we want to join it to our percentage value. So I'm just going to copy this section here. We'll get our percentage and we want to nest this within the round function because we want to round this just to two decimal places. And finally what we want to do is add a percentage symbol to the end of our percentage value. So we're just going to use another AND symbol and then enclosed in double quotes, we're going to add a percentage symbol. And there it is. So I'll drag this down and we have all of our progress bars with percentages completed. Now we can make this look a little better by bolding it, maybe adding a lighter shade of yellow as the background. Well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.